Hello everyone, my name's Rowan. I'm going to be playing Journey with you. It's a 2012 video game released on PlayStation 3 uh, and developed by that game company. Um, I haven't played this game before. I've only mucked around with it with like demos and playing it and that sort of thing. Uh, so this is the first time I'm actually playing this. It's a very visual game um, and kind of a, a story that you kind of get sucked into, I believe. And probably the worst game for someone to talk over and ruin with their horrible Australian accent. Uh, so I thought I would share that with you guys and kind of ruin this experience if you've never done this before. Uh, I, for, for this game, I strongly recommend you maybe play it before you watch with me. However, if you're crazy um, and you want to maybe ruin what could be one of the greatest games ever made, well, um, feel free to join me on this journey. <laughs> I'm going to say that a lot. I'm going to say... Let's go on a journey. Uh, but this is my first time playing it. Uh, I've, uh, I've only mucked around, as I said, and we're playing as this guy here, this sick robed dude. Um, that's all I know about the game, that you're you're this guy. So, okay, so it's, it's using the six axis, is that what it's called? Six axis remote thing, uh, which I hate. I hate that sort of stuff when you have to move the remotes around. On and play is subject to the journey terms of use, which can be accessed in the start menu. What's in there? View journey terms of use. <laughs> That's it. The start menu just has terms of use. Awesome. Um, so I think this game has been released on PlayStation 4. You can I get it through the PlayStation Network. Um, I'm playing it on PlayStation 3 at the moment, just so you're aware. Um, but this is all. I, this is everything I know about the game. Basically, it's just that you're this guy, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happens. I can't do anything at the moment. Oh, I can do that. I can make a sound. There it is. Oh, cool. So you can kind of jump. He got his robe from ASOS, I reckon. It was on a sale, the summer sale. Picked it up for twenty nine ninety five. It's a pretty sick robe, I have to admit. Um. So it might be a bit of weirdness in this game where I'm just kind of talking and experiencing this game for the first time. So thank you for coming along on this journey. There we are. That's how many times I've said now. Three. Journey. Four. Um, I get the feeling it's a little bit like Lord of the Rings where we have to head towards the, the eye um, off in the distance. It's a very cool opening right there. Um, have any of you guys played this game before? And don't spoil anything, but... Um, what do you think of the game and what's the best way to play it? How, what was your first experience when you played it? How did you feel? How did the game make you feel? Ooh. Doing some Cool Borders action. Do you remember Cool Borders? That was a very huge game on PlayStation 1. What can we do with these things? So he can kind of sing, this guy. I can't get the camera in any closer to him, sadly, to check him out. Does he have arms under that coat? Is he a creepy dude? Like, is he like a, you know, a pedo in a park with a coat on? You know, fiddling with himself. He could be, we don't know. He doesn't seem to have feet at all. He's just got two little spikes. And he seems pretty chilled about the fact that he's just been absorbed by uh, some sort of entity there. <laughs> um, okay, not sure what's happening. Oh, okay, hold. Ah! Oh. So it's given him jump powers. These little scrolls here. Woo! Ah, oh, nice little roll at the end. Oh, there's some more over here. So I need to pick up these things, and then they give me jump powers. And then they're gone. Okay. I understand. I'm getting it. There's some more over there. I wonder if you can... Did I collect those ones? No. So maybe it's just one at a time. Oh, 
Oh, I wasted one. Sorry. What do you guys think about games uh, like this nowadays where there's kind of, they're more of an artistic experience than they are a game, per se? So you're kind of uh, just experiencing a world. It might not be a bad guy to fight or anything like that, but you're just kind of going on a journey <laughs> within the game. How do they make you feel? Do those games annoy you? Do they Are they fun? Um, I haven't played too many. A lot of them uh, come out as uh, indie games, which I haven't had too much experience in. But the few that I have, I've really enjoyed, and I think they're, they're great experiences. Um, can we go up here? I don't know if this guy needs a, a drink of water or anything like that, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, so the, awesome. So one of my favorite things, I've talked about this in the other games that I've played as well, is uh, game developers creating ways where they keep you within the game map, but it has the feeling that it could go forever. So it looks like that we could walk all the way to that sun, but the game developers here have created a little sandstorm that stops you. Um, in the old days of gaming, if you have a look at the, um, maybe the Medal of Honor, ooh, the Medal of Honor uh, series that I've done, they're just, it's well, obviously too hard for them <laughs> back then. And there's always something stupid in the way, like a um, just a, a crate that you could easily jump over. But that one there with the sandstorm was actually quite clever. I really, I really like that. Um, have there been any that you guys have come across um, that you quite liked? Any game blocking mechanisms or any stupid ones? There are plenty of stupid ones out there. Sometimes it's just an invisible wall, especially in old games. So he sings and communicates with these little, uh, what would you call it, like a scarf? Or maybe it's like those men, that uh, the, the air blower men, that you see most of the time out in front of um, car yards. And they're waving their hands around, like Sweet D in um, uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's how she dances. If you haven't seen that show, watch that show. It's very funny. Look at all those tickets. Ah, uh, so maybe he needs all of these. Whoa. Okay, I assume I have to activate all these. Another game that was um, it has a similar vibe to this. Uh, even though I'm just barely into this game, is Shadow of the Colossus, um, which is probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. Um, I played that on PlayStation 3. Ooh, hang on a second, I'll interrupt that story because it looks like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make up a story because we don't know anything at the moment. That's his dad. And his dad went out to get some milk 68 years ago, and he's still waiting for him to return with the milk. And he's like, Dad, I just, I just really need this milk his whole family he's got a family now he's got even got grandkids and he's like they're all like dude your dad's not coming back and he's still waiting for him to return with the milk maybe a chomp as well chop a chop i don't know what i'm talking about sorry while we watch this these hieroglyphics here so this is telling some sort of story maybe this is a journey that i need to go on there's like a some trees to get past The, the, that looks like, do you remember in school you would draw that S where it was like three lines and then beneath it three lines and then you'd join them together on a zigzag and it would form like a gangster looking S? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? That is very specific. <laughs> um, anyway, Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, Obelisk, I have no idea what you just told me there. Shadow of the Colossus was a very cool game and it was also uh, quite artistic in a way. Uh, much like this one, but it was more of a game. You had to kind of um, uh, fight enemies, and it was... Oh, there's, was that my dad all the way down there? Um, you had to fight enemies and stuff like that, and it was a bit of a platformer slash puzzler game at the same time. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have played Shadow of the Colossus, and if you have, talk to me about it, because I'd love to know about your experiences. Um, I played the original version, not the remastered version, which I'd like to play. Um, uh, but this has very similar vibes to that at the moment. Um, and there's a gorgeous game right now. I'm loving it. Okay, he's got to hop, skip, and jump all the way over there. Is 
which looks pretty difficult, unless I can just go on the floor. This... There's something on the ground over there. I'm going to go check that out first. I wish this is how I could just get around. Like, just jump off a building and float because of my awesome cape that I got at ASOS. Where was that thing? There it is. So what do, what do I get from that? Anything? It looks like the inv invincibility... Oh. The invincibility that, um... That Sonic has in Sonic the Hedgehog. I was actually looking at a way to play Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Master System. I've got a Sega Master System 2 here. I was looking at a way to record that, but I actually had a lot of troubles um, getting that signal through to my recorder. So if anyone has any solutions for me, please shout them out. I'd love to hear them. Um, that's blowing me back, it seems. Yep. Um, I'd love to hear your solutions, um, other than emulator solutions. Uh, for That's for the Sega Master System version, not the... Um, what was the other one? What was the one after Sega, Sega Master System and Sega Mega Drive? That's it. All right, let's go upstairs. Grab some tickets. Flying tickets. Oh, no. The big ticket gives you heaps of little tickets. No, my tickets! They're blowing in the wind! Uh, Alright, sweet. Little uh, little bridge. Look at him zapping around. Where is he? Very cool. So, okay, I've got to figure out how to get over there. No, not enough power. So what are your guesses about what this land is, where we are? What's your backstory to this land? There's another ticket over there. What was that? Oh, who's that? Someone's here. So, I... I have heard in this game that it's, uh, you do play online. Um, and there is a chance that you can run into other people that are playing the game at the same time as you. Um, so can we can we help each other to go up to the top hmm. I'm just going to go over here and get these so this could be someone else I'm playing with right now in the world um, they look the same as me their scarf is 10 times better than mine look at that scarf maybe I should kill him for his scarf Or it could be a she. Or an it. I have no idea who this person is. Um, or it could just be a NPC. Tickets, please. Alright. 
Alright, so what does this do? Just more tickets. That sort of looks like a, a dragon there. Okay, so the tickets are going up to the bridges, forming some land bridges for me. Thank you so much. Some scarf bridges. And that looks like a whole bunch of sand, like a sand waterfall there. Very cool. But the problem is, are uh, there, over there. So if we just go over here and we can release the scarf bridge and make, it, make our way through. So it looks like there's other similar scarf bridge type scenarios over there, but I think the wind would stop us from getting to them. Oh, it's really hard to walk here. Do we have to help each other? Oh no, this guy's... He, this guy's way better than I am at this game. Like most people are, <laughs> to be honest. So if you've played this game, uh, is that someone else that I am playing with right now? Or is it an NPC? Um, please let me know. That's not really a spoiler. I'm okay with that. Look at all those tickets. Release the bridge. Thanks, tickets. Appreciate it. Alright. Smell you later, dude. Whoa, look how far that guy jumped. I can't even jump around here. I feel like this guy's gonna just um, ruin this game for me. Race to who gets it first. Oh, they're, they're on the other side. Alright. Who is this guy? Oh, we get to sit down check out the obelisk or, or this ver this oh there's my dad dad do you have any milk yes son I drank so much of it my robe turned white come closer one day I will return with all the milk in the world and your work coat will turn white as well dad that's a shit story all right here we are with the um, hieroglyphics so, so is this giving me a hint at what I need to do next, or is that they're the bridges that I just crossed with the the scarf, I reckon? And so next, they looks like are they tickets in the sky? Scarf bridge forming a train, the L train going through the city. So that maybe they're telling me that the dad caught the train into town to get a milk. And when he got there, the city was so filled with milk that it exploded at the top. This is a horrible, <laughs> boring milk story. But I'm, I'm in too deep now. I can't escape. I can't escape the milk story. Oh, there we go. We just sat down and learned about my dad and his milk uh, poncho that he's wearing. What's happening to my friend here? His coat's turning milky. Shaving. So do I, 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 do I experience the rest of this game with this guy? 
It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if because of the way uh, I'm recording it, I'm not hearing that other person talking, but I don't think you can from from my understanding of the game. Um, very interesting. So we have to go to that mountain. I'm not sure what that... Maybe that's my dad's soul leaving the game. Because he's like, you're, you're taking too long to get here. And we're just cool bordering our way across the dunes. Cool Borders was a very cool game, I must admit. Um, it was a lot of fun. If you're into simple snowboarding games, as everyone was, I think, at that time. It was a, that was a... They, I, I remember it got up to Cool Borders 3. Why am I talking so much about Cool Borders? <laughs> and we're not talking about like physical like land land borders between two countries. We're talking about snowboarders. Oh. A little pet. So we've got to follow our little pet. What should we... Okay, I think the guy here needs a name. My friend here. And our pet needs a name as well. Um, so I reckon... We're going to call the guy next to me Hung. Because he's got a bigger scarf than mine. Zing! And the pet will call Spot. For no other reason than it reminds me of a dog. So let's... Hung here is just keeping pace with me. He doesn't seem interested in me. We're not really chatting to each other. Um, when I press circle, it releases that sound wave, but he's not really responding. Spots led us to another scarf. At one in tatters that we need to activate. There we go. Oh, maybe Spot's not a good person. Maybe Spot is evil. And now all these weird friends are going to gang up on me. But he's helping me carry me on, so I'll take that. Thanks, Spot. I was initially going to play this game with... Um, with Natalie, however, um, these sorts of games frustrate her sometimes because she likes to. She's more, she's more into the Sims and things like that, where it's clear goals on what to do. When it's an open sort of world with experiences and kind of just do what you want. I wouldn't say this game is like that, to be fair. But um, so it's like five obelisk things. Um, she kind of gets a bit frustrated, so um, we I. We, we passed on this one. Well, she did. Um, but thank you for coming on the ride and, in, and enjoying. And if you want to watch more of this sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Um, or don't. It doesn't, doesn't really bother me as long as you guys are all cool, all happy. Um, so Spot has a whole bunch of friends now. I don't know which one is Spot, which is really embarrassing, especially if they come up to me and, and talk to me. And they go, what do you reckon about Spot? And I'll be like, yeah... He's, he's alright and it's like I am Spock you've been talking to me the whole time you worm that could happen and it would be highly embarrassing um, and Hung here would just be laughing at me because Hung knows exactly who Spock is Ooh. what's that that came out of the the mountain exploded some tickets out of these ruins Oh, there's something on the top. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he got it, of course. No, did he? Hang on, I'll get some tickets. Hung is like, man, come on. I already got it like 10 years ago. So what does that power mean? I 
I'm not sure how clear it is for you guys to hear the music, but the music is gorgeous in this game, by the way. I'd also love to hear what you guys have to say about um, it's more ruins. Um, some indie games, if you have any recommendations for me to play. Um, as I said, I haven't really gotten into them that much. Ooh, it's getting a bit scary here. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about indie games and ones that you want me to play and what ones to stay away from. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them out there that sound really cool. Um, this place is really scary. Not really scary, but it's getting there. It's kind of scary. I wish Spot could just carry me the whole way. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Spot. Appreciate it, bro. Releasing more spots. And then they help me up to the top here. Okay. What if they're all bad? What if they're like, release us? You know? And then they just end up, like, killing everyone. Or killing the, the, the people that control this land. That's not really fair. I don't know the full story. I, don't, I can't make a decision on whether or not I should be releasing them. They seem in prison for a reason. I don't know what this is. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, I should look at the scarf. It's a different scarf size. I thought I was hung for a second. It was wishful thinking. Thanks. Couldn't you just carry us around? Help me. Help me, help me. Help me. Thank you. Is my scarf getting... No, it's still shorter than Hung's. How embarrassing. Alright, let's sit down and watch another story. Learn about my dad, my pops. So at the moment, my father left me to get some milk. He went into town. There's too much milk. It was exploding through the seams and it turned his coat white. So... Uh, he wasn't able to get any milk, he was just covered in milk. It wasn't in any receptacle, I'm assuming. So he continued on the train, the L train, to another part of town where that place was also brimming with milk. As you can see, the windows are filled. And he's like, well, I, can I just have it in a cup? And they're like, no. Um, so he continued on through town. Every single building in town was filled to the brim with milk. Uh, but he couldn't bring any of it home. Uh, and that's what we know so far. It's a very clear storyline for me. I, I, I understand it very clearly. Um, and it's making a lot of sense. Um, we've released Spot's friends. Holy shit. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Alright, cool. Okay, let's... So we've learnt the story there. So this game did pretty well with um, reviews and stuff like that. It got, uh, I reckon, I think it was like a 90 or a 92 uh, percent through Metacritic. Um, so it's very well received. Oh, thank you. Wow, where are we going? I'm building a little army here, a little army of spot... Um, sand things, little flying carpets, I guess. It's a bit like Aladdin. What was that carpet's name? Was it just flying carpet? Magic carpet in, in Aladdin? But look how many there are. I wouldn't try, you can't trust a magic carpet. They're always a bit cheeky, aren't they? Look at that sand. Ooh, gorgeous. All right, we're cool. <laughs> ready for some more Cool Borders references? The other guy's way off. This is very cool. Oh. Bit of slalom. Oh. Missed. Off a jump. Indie nose bone. 360. Through the sand. 
awesome. No. Hung is way ahead of me. I'm like a little brother to Hung. I'm so embarrassed that I called him Hung. But his scarf is bigger than mine. Okay, here we go. Jumping through. Woo! Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, up there's a little disc thing that kind of gives me some more powers. Although I don't know what they are, but we should try and get up there. Is that someone else that I'm playing with? Be very cool if it was. No. Ah, oh, Hung did it. Sorry, Hung. We'll do it. We'll try again. I don't have any powers. Oh, oh if we touch each other, we get them. If I touch Hung, we get powers. <laughs> How's Han getting up there so well? No. Hang on, let's uh, open this and see what happens. Oh, I like that little essence of Hung there, if you see on the bottom of the screen, the little white orb. Um, give me some powers, Hung. I want the power. I want the power hung. Has my scarf gotten longer? His is very long now. It's a lot of wang chat going on. But I want to get up there. Not enough juice. No. More juice, more juice. Oh my god. Is Hung struggling as well? Did Hung make it? Did I get... No, Hung didn't make it either. Get into the light. No, Hung knows. You stupid idiot, he's saying. <laughs> Hung! Help me out, bro. Hung made it. Man. I just gotta sing. There we go. Alright. I've just gotta sing. That's something I say normally in everyday life. Why is my tax return shit? Oh, I didn't sing. Okay, um let's get going. Come with me if you wanna live. Oh great, another Slalom challenge.
This game is beautiful. Sorry, it's getting a bit quiet. Oh. As I get distracted by the Cool Borders level. Ugh. Do you reckon these guys need a drink? It's very, it looks very dry here. Whoa. That's pretty. That is very pretty, and I'll ruin it with my nasally accent while I uh, slide down these uh, this ramp here. That's gorgeous. Ugh. Beautiful game. There are a lot of games that I would love to just live in the world, that, or at least visit on as on a holiday. This is definitely one of them. Um, I felt that way, I think, even before I played it, looking at some of the screenshots of the game and seeing some of the demos and things like that. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably feel the same way. Uh, where else, what video game landscape would you like to go on a holiday in? Um, oh, I'm meant to go over. Can I jump up? That's not. Wow. Beautiful. So yeah, I'd definitely like to go on a holiday here. Silent Hill, I've talked about that a bit. I would not want to go on a holiday too. That would be the worst thing in the universe. Um, some Tomb Raider levels, for sure. Would be very cool. Um, not all of Tomb Raider, though, because you would probably die in seconds. We're going to get another school lesson soon. Um, where else would I like to go on a video game holiday to? You guys let me know. I'd love to discuss it with you. Um, Fallout would be a no. Resident Evil would be a no. Maybe some Final Fantasy landscapes? Okay, sorry. Interrupted by my father. Son... I couldn't get the milk for you. But Dad, I've been waiting for 68 years. Alright, so... We've gone through the city and the milk seems to be waning now. Maybe it's it's drained out of the city or people have been drinking it too fast. Or maybe it's symbolic and it represents that the father was unable to get the milk. Hence his sadness and the world going dark. Um, so he then looks towards the black market to see if they have any milk there and this sends him in a, into a dark place and so here we're going to find out exactly what he did to get to possibly get the milk that he's after and my brother hung is just like i don't even drink milk just want to just want a coke man just a coke would be great all right Come on, Hung. Let's check it out. Assassin's Creed would be a cool video game holiday because it's kind of like involving time travel, in a way, if I'm being cheeky. So that would be pretty cool because you could kind of go around and um, see historical sites and the same for any space game because you get to go to space that would be pretty cool video game holidays or maybe a video game holiday would be just taking two weeks off from work and playing video games at home the whole time that would be pretty cool too all right so we're kind of retracing the steps i feel in a way of my father's journey to get the milk that day uh, and I'm doing that journey with my brother here. Um, and we can see that the world that my father ventured into has been destroyed because of his bloodlust to retrieve the milk. Wow, well, this is cool.
This isn't a very long game either, I think. I think it's uh, two hours or so. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty quick journey. I'm surprised I haven't been saying that <laughs> more, to be honest. Um, but thank you for coming on this journey with me. Oh, it's like we're underwater here. So what a... Are we underwater? Yes, we are. I'm kind of floating off the ground. So my father's basically sunk this town trying to find milk. This milk story is pretty boring, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> so I... I it feels like I'm underwater. Perhaps I can breathe underwater as well. I also think there's lots of debate in um, the real world that is fashion art, right? So they, you look at runway shows and all that sort of stuff and a lot of artists and fashion people debate whether or not fashion is art uh, I think some parts of fashion is art uh, in a way not all of it um, and it's very commercial in a way as well which art is as well um, but I don't think people really talk about video games being art and I, I think with this game it has been mentioned a couple of times and there are more and more games coming out um, but I think this needs to be considered a form of art Uh, in my opinion, because a lot of lot of um, games through art try and get a, a message across or a story across. Where's Hung? It's gone missing. So yeah, I kind of I feel I feel this should be the poster boy for that movement of video games being strongly considered art forms. Are we missing from... Ah, oh, we can call out to each other. Hung, I'm over here, buddy. How's my um, scarf going compared to his? Oh, his is so long. Did you see where it went? I can't look up any higher. Um, I would also classify um, uh, Shadow of the Colossus as an as an artistic game or an artistic endeavor. Um, I'd really like to, I haven't played, um, there is it Ico, I think, or I think it's Ico, is the other game that's, is it like a sequel or a prequel? Um, or an unofficial sort of prequel sort of thing? That I haven't played and I'm very excited to play it. And then the new one that's coming out, oh, there's the, the Flying Beast. This reminds me a lot of Shadow of the Colossus. Um, the Guardians or something like that. Um, oh, he doesn't like tickets at all. Okay, so we've got to be careful. Where's... Yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd classify um, Shadow of the Colossus as an art game. Are there any other games that you would consider art or pieces of art or a work of art. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Am I dead? No, no, no. He looks sick. Like, not in a good way. He looks really ill. Look at him. Oh, I have to get healed by my mate. It's 
thank you. Ah. Uh. So when they fire, is that the end of them, or are there two now? I wonder how many... Oh, my scarf. See my scarf. No! That monster fired my wang off. And, <laughs> and now I've got no wang. And Hung is even bigger than I was. No! No! This whole game is a metaphor for penis size. Ah. Uh, uh. No. Where's... Where is my brother? Look at my penis. Look at my penis. What's that down there? Oh no, the bad guy. Ooh, that's really scary. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no. So this gives me more penis. Or scarf. I'm gonna call it a penis. So I need to find those. My brother's got so many. His wang is huge. And that um, flying serpent took my wang. Maybe he is a pedophile, and this is like his punishment for being a pedophile. That's deep. No, 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 no. Escape. Escape. I gotta get down to there before he gets me. No, no. Oh, that was very close. Where is my brother? I just left him to die. Is he coming? Did I just... Is my brother dead? No, no, no. Or did he leave the game? I'm just going to say he left the game. He had to do something else. He had a bigger dick than me anyway. Screw him. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here I am with my father. He doesn't have a wang at all, but he's a giant. So I would dare say he's being supported by his wang underneath that coat. It's like one day you will have a gigantic coat just like mine. And I'm, I wink at him and I'm like, I know exactly what you mean by gigantic coat. i got to stop talking about this wang stuff. All right. So we got through that dark area, it seemed. But in terms of the milk odyssey that we're on at the moment, my father's milk odyssey, I have no idea what's going on now, but it seemed like he returned to the desert. Um, he came out the other side. And there's a little... As he was wandering lonely through the desert, he thought of me. Or maybe Hung, who just died in that situation. That That's getting this too... Like it, it's a bit like Inception. There's too many stories within stories, and the timing, the timeline of it doesn't make any sense. But let's just stick with it. Hung's gone, and I don't think I can return to these bad dudes at all. Oh, I can. Hands up if you like me, and then when you start a level. Instead of just going forward all the time, you look back. Because game developers love to put things behind you and hide little story bits behind you or a health pack or something like that. I always do it um, when, I, when I feel that there would be something there. 
Um, or if I need something, if I'm if I'm low on health or something like that, I'll always have a look. It's funny that in video games, how there's you play enough of them and you kind of get a vibe of little gaming cues, little little things that you go, oh, in a game, they always put health packs in this area or something like that. Uh, it's funny how that sort of happens. I think Hung is dead. I think my brother is dead. Which is very sad. Okay. So what I might do is end the episode there. I think we're roughly, possibly halfway through the game at the moment. Um, thank you very much for watching. We'll find out what happened to Hung and whether or not my father retrieved the milk for his family. Um, and I'm so sorry about all the uh, penis innuendo. Or not even. We, we just talked about penis the whole time for about 50 so, or so minutes. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more or other games, please subscribe. Um, and I'll keep uploading this sort of stuff. And hopefully get around to more cat videos. Um, but thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.